Most of us will never get to travel to outer space, but you can visit the Caperton Planetarium Theater and feel like you really are going somewhere. How many times have you and your family been at home? You've watched NASA do something cool, uh -huh. a launch to outer space, sending astronauts Maybe up, we would like and you think, Bravo man, I bet that would be cool. Right. But a lot of us will never get that experience, yeah. but you feel like uh, it when you are yeah, here. This here. is truly oh, immersive. And we've got the guy here with us who is uh -huh. going to walk you through what you are seeing and take you to this world mm -hmm. far beyond what we can see with our eye, and that is Thaddeus Papke. Thaddeus, thank you so much for being yes. here with us. Uh, uh -huh. This is a beautiful facility, first mm -hmm. of all, oh, yeah. uh, but what are families, if they come here to the planetarium, what are some of the different programs that you're you're able to offer them? What are some of the different yeah, things we'll see? see? Oh, so they can see almost anything, to be honest. So we have a couple of films that we show every day, mm -hmm. and then we also have live shows. In fact, this April is going to represent one year, our one year anniversary of doing live shows on a daily basis mm -hmm. here in the planetarium, where a trained educator takes people on a tour of the stars. We start in our own backyards where we look up at the sky we see what it looks like from West Virginia we point out how to find various constellations asterisms deep sky objects like galaxies that you can spot with just your naked eye without a telescope mm -hmm. uh, distant nebulas and give people the tricks that they need to go be amateur stargazers at home yeah, it's incredible what you learn I mean mm -hmm. just by taking a look at this Thaddeus has already taught us so much so you will walk away with a lot of knowledge uh -huh. you really will yeah what are we looking at right now so right now we're looking at at the representation of the our solar system and the orbits of the different planets as they go around our sun. So right there in the center, we see that great big glowing dot. That's of course our sun and all the little lines that are whipping around it real fast. Those are all the inner planets, mm -hmm. the rocky terrestrial planets that includes our home here on earth. And then as we expand out further and further, we get to the orbits of the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And then because we didn't want it to feel left out, we did throw Pluto in there too. <laughs> um, Pluto. And you can see while the smaller ones are moving around quite quickly, Mercury, you know, makes me dizzy just looking at it. Uh -huh. uh, these later ones out here further away from the sun, you can barely tell they're moving at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Pluto hasn't even had a complete rotation around the sun since it was discovered. Mm -hmm. Now, Thaddeus, the other interesting thing about this is you said you're actually expanding the use of the planetarium, mm -hmm. offering families, because a lot of people are... are intrigued and very fascinated mm -hmm. by outer space, but you're offering some more things coming up, um, actually even teaching us some things about West Virginia mm -hmm. that we'll that's, see in here. That's true. The thing of, that's great about a planetarium is that you can do all sorts of mm -hmm. immersive experience with experiences with it. Later this month, we're going to have a special talk for, with one of our friends from the National Youth Science Foundation, Dr. Ryan Haupt. He's going to talk about his research as a paleontologist into the ground sloths that used to live in West Virginia. We're going to take you to the rainforest where the modern sloths live today, and we're going to showcase on the dome giant three-dimensional scans of these fossil skulls so people can still get an impressive, immersive, educational experience here that covers something as found right here in West Virginia, not just in the distant stars. We're, we're, it sounds like we can travel the world, we can go back in time, mm -hmm. go into outer space mm -hmm. without yeah, even packing your bags. And we're going to do more of these Discover Our World talks throughout the year. Those are going to be evening events open to families, but where we elevate the content mm -hmm. a little bit so they're still interesting to science-minded adults. Uh, we're also going to do our Into the Universe talks mm -hmm. that go into detail about current astronomical research as well. Right. And you can find all of that mm -hmm. on the website for the Clay Center. You'll find a full list of everything that's going on mm -hmm. and also ticket prices as well. Thaddeus, thank you so much yes. for talking with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm always happy to talk about space <laughs> or other topics cool. here in the planetarium. Yeah. Well, we could hang out in here all day, Susan, but there's still a lot to see. Yeah. So let's go check some other things out.